A tropical storm is a hazard that brings heavy rainfall, strong winds and other related hazards such as mudslides and floods. Tropical storms usually form between approximately 5 degrees and 30 degrees latitude and move westward due to easterly winds. The Coriolis force sends them spinning towards the poles. A tropical revolving storm or TRS is a storm system with a low pressure center, around which winds of gale force, that is at least 34 knots or Beaufort scale force 8, blow spirally inwards and to clockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere. The Atlantic hurricane season runs from June 1 to November 30, and the Eastern Pacific hurricane season runs from May 15 to November 30. The Atlantic Basin includes the Atlantic Ocean, Caribbean Sea, and Gulf of Mexico. Coast radio stations will be issuing frequent and regular warnings, including the best information available of the position of the center and its expected movement. A definite sign of an approaching weather system is an unusually steep fall in the barometric pressure. Isobars are lines drawn on a weather map connecting points of equal pressure. Isobars take the shape of concentric circles around a hurricane or any closed low-pressure system. In the lower troposphere, that is, near the Earth's surface, Winds spiral towards the center of a hurricane in a counterclockwise direction in the northern hemisphere. These rotating winds are called the hurricane's primary circulation. Atmospheric pressure and wind speed change across the diameter of a hurricane. Between 100 and 200 kilometers from the eye, the winds are fast enough to qualify as tropical storm force. The atmospheric pressure here will still be relatively high compared to the storm center at about 990 to 1010 millibars. However, the pressure gradually falls and the wind speed rises upon getting closer to the eye wall. It is only over the last 50 to 100 kilometers that the large changes in pressure and wind speed occur. The pressure begins to fall more rapidly while the wind speed simultaneously increases. Within the eye wall, the wind speed reaches its maximum but within the eye, the winds become very light sometimes even calm. The surface pressure continues to drop through the eye wall and into the center of the eye, where the lowest pressure is found. Upon exiting the eye, the wind speed and pressure both increase rapidly. The wind speed again reaches a maximum in the opposite eye wall, and then quickly begins to decrease. The wind and pressure profiles inside a hurricane are roughly symmetrical, so a quick rise in winds and pressure through the eye wall followed by a slower increase in pressure and likewise decrease in wind speed would be expected. The movement of a hurricane from one location to another is known as hurricane propagation. In general, hurricanes are steered by global winds. The prevailing winds that surround a hurricane, also known as the environmental wind field, are what guide a hurricane along its path. The hurricane propagates in the direction of this wind field, which also factors into the system's propagation speed. While each storm makes its own path, the movement of every hurricane is affected by a combination of factors, as described below. In the tropics, where hurricanes form, easterly winds called the trade winds steer a hurricane towards the west. In the Atlantic Basin, Storms are carried by these trade winds from the coast of Africa, where they often develop, westward towards the Caribbean Sea and the North American coasts. Atlantic hurricanes typically propagate around the periphery of the subtropical ridge, riding along its strongest winds. If the highest position to the east, then hurricanes generally propagate northeastward around the highest western edge into the open Atlantic Ocean without making landfall. However, if the highest position to the west and extends far enough to the south, storms are blocked from curving north and forced to continue west, putting a large bullseye on Florida, Cuba, and the Gulf of Mexico. The 1-2-3 rule is a guideline commonly taught to mariners for hurricane tracking and prediction. It refers to the rounded long-term forecast errors of 100, 200, 300 nautical miles at 24, 48. 72 hours, respectively.
The danger area to be avoided is constructed by expanding the forecast path by a radius equal to the respective hundreds of miles, plus the forecast size of the storm at those hours. The dangerous semicircle is the half of the nearly circular area of a cyclonic storm in which the velocity of rotation is added to the velocity of translation and in which a vessel tends to be drawn into the path of the storm center. The ship's bow must be kept pointing into the waves so that the vessel can plow through them safely, which helps prevent waves from striking the ship on its sides. The heavier the vessel the better during a hurricane, the most dangerous ship is an empty one.